Hello and welcome to www.personalchange.info. In today's video, I'm going to show you the Video Scribe Anywhere whiteboard drawing app. When you come to the home screen, you'll see a plus to create a new drawing. You can access your drawings that are in the clouds. You can also see drawings that you have worked on. What we're going to do today is create a new drawing. So click on the plus and that will take you to your workspace. The first thing you want to do is to bring in an image. The first image I'm going to use is a clip art. So I'll search for something. In this case, I'm going to search for a tree and see what comes up. I have a variety of trees in this case we can choose from. And I'm going to choose a scene. I'm going to pick the scene with the tree and the diving board by the lake. Once that's loaded onto your workspace, you can resize it. You can also adjust the length of the drawing speed, the drawing time. Now I'm also going to search for another image. This time I'm going to search for a man either jumping or doing something. So let's type that in and see what happens. You can see that there are several different choices. And I'm going to the second page. And I will just choose a man that's talking on the cell phone. And what I want to do is put him on the end of the diving board or the end of the dock. So I'll reduce the size so that it's appropriate to the drawing. Now I'm going to add some text. So I click on the T for text. And in this case, I'm just going to say, just jump in. Type in my text, click check, drag it over to my image. Now what I want to do is change the drawing time for the scene itself with the tree and the lake down to 10 seconds. Now let's run it and see what it looks like. Now that I've completed my first scene, I want to create a second scene. And this time, instead of using clip art, I'm going to pick something from my camera roll. So I'll just click on the camera, select camera roll, and then find an image. In this case, I'm going to use a screenshot that my daughter took of a manga cartoon. So again, I can resize the image, and now I'm going to add some additional text. In this case, I'll just say, manga is cool. In addition to resizing the text and adjusting the drawing time, you can also angle the text. So I'm going to arrange that. I'm actually going to drag the picture down and put the text on top. So you can see it's very easy to manipulate objects. Now that I've done this, I'm going to run the drawing again. I don't want to start from the beginning though, so I can fast forward just to my new elements to test them and make sure that they're okay. Everything looks good, and when the video stops running, I will click Share and Save to Camera Roll. Now it takes a few minutes to render the video to the camera roll, so I'm going to cut and resume just as the video is ready and finished. My video is now complete, and I'll get a confirmation message that it has been saved to the camera roll. In this case, I'm not going to save it. You can save it and then come back to it later. I'm going to go ahead and close Video Scribe, go to my camera roll, and take a look at the video and test it out and play it right here. Everything looks good just like I want it to look. I encourage you to use this app. I think you will like it and you can see that it's very easy to use.